when my life is really stressed out like it is now, all I want to do is play ambient guitar. And this morning, what I wanted to do was play ambient guitar in the National Forest. But the problem was it was raining. Ugh. What to do? Well, upon reflection, I decided that if I couldn't take my guitar to the forest, I would get some of the forest and bring it back to my guitar. So I drove out to my favorite spot, hiked up my favorite trail, and ended up at a beautiful forest stream where I got out my portable audio recorder, set it up, and then captured some audio of the babbling forest stream. Oh yeah. Well, after that, I packed everything up, walked back to the car, and oh boy, I'm really excited to see what I can do with this audio. I want to turn it into an ambient soundscape and play some ambient guitar on top of it. As soon as I got back to my studio, I pulled the audio tracks that I recorded in the forest into Logic Pro to see what they sounded like. Here's what I got. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I can hear both the forest stream and the beautiful birds singing. Next up, I wanted to add some reverb into the sound, so I pulled up the Logic Pro Space Designer and used an impulse response called Drone Tone 16 to get a pitched reverb sound. Yeah, that's really nice. After that, I decided that I wanted to drop the pitch of the reverb. So I pulled up the Logic Pro pitch shifter and shifted everything down one octave. Next up, I decided that the sound was just a little too muddy. So I pulled up the Logic channel equalizer and just scooped out a little bit of the low mids just to clean things up a little bit. Next, I decided I needed another reverb tone, so I brought up my favorite reverb plugin that's free, the Valhalla Super Massive, and pulled up the Dark Matter preset, and here's what I got. Oh, yeah. Well, being me, I decided I needed yet another layer of reverb, so... I pulled up Logic Pro's Chroma Verb and selected the Cathedral preset with the Concert Hall Reverb type. Here's what I got. Oh, that's beautiful. It just smooths everything out. At this point, I was ready to begin laying down the ambient guitar track. I decided it would be a Frippertronic style looping piece that uses the Strymon El Capistan to create a six to seven to eight second delay using its sound on sound mode for just beautiful looping layers. And here's what I got. That felt so good to take the audio of that stream and turn it into an ambient guitar meditation. I've got a playlist here of other videos that I've posted using natural sounds and non-musical objects to create beautiful ambient soundscapes. Check it out and I'll see you over on those videos.